Hey everyone, I'm gonna make uh, what's gonna be called a like a soup yogurt. So um, if we normally made a yogurt with one or two ingredients, um, but my son is having to take uh, this. It's a um, it's a kind of very heavy probiotic list of things. So if you can see here. It's got chock full of just extremely great, fantastic bacteria and decent amounts. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make yogurt out of this. So to amplify this amount. Now granted, this is not recommendations of the, uh, the company. So, um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just that, you know, for the slow... Um, slow uh, absorption of this kind of stuff it's better to take it over time however um, you know considering there's so much good bacteria in here and pretty much all of this is has a cook time of uh, 37 degrees Celsius or 99 degrees uh, Fahrenheit I thought it'd be a great idea just to make this as a super yogurt so what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to mix in, I'm trying two different things. Um, I'm going to have one that's going to have regular milk. Um, the rest of the family um, has some problems with it. So I'm going to try almond milk uh, for the other one here and see how they come out. So to do this, and I'm also going to add in for mine, I'm adding in uh, Gasseri to this as well. Because I've enjoyed, um, you know, that 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 yogurt. So I've uh, already cut the pill. I'm spilling most of it. I hate these pills. I really don't like them. But anyway, cut the pill there. Cut that up. Now I'm gonna get a. Um, a quarter teaspoon. So this comes with the um, Good For Gut. They give you one of these. So I'm getting a teaspoon for that. A quarter of a teaspoon. Apologize for the different uh, measuring things, but that's how it is in the US. <laughs> okay, we're done with that. Now we're going to mix in our inulin. Now for this one, I'm only going to mix in one. I've been mixing in two. And I think that's been a mistake. Get a little bit more. I've been putting in uh, too much of this. And um, it just uh, gives me gives me a tough time. Yeah, because I always wonder, it's like the first time I make it, everything's great. And the second time, uh, when I'm just using the yogurt itself, it comes out really bad. Um, not bad, but it just, uh, it wrecks my stomach, you know, the first time I take this stuff. So, and I think it's too much of this. Just get, you know, just don't feel good afterwards. All right, let's move all this out of the way. That one's done. All right, now I'm gonna add in, uh, I add in a half, so I'm gonna add in a half a quart of um, what we call half and half, which is just half uh, whole milk and half uh, heavy cream. Now, the next time you make this, if you, you know, you're satisfied with it, you like how it came out, um, all you're going to have to do is get a couple spoons of, uh, of the yogurt. And uh, you dab it in, you know, you put it in the container here. And then you just pour your uh, half and half or whole milk and uh, heavy cream in the mix and um, mix it up a little bit and then you just cook it 
it's really simple. So it's like once you've got this, then you uh, you're good to go. Okay. Now I'm not gonna let me clean that off. Let's see, I'm gonna get another spoon. Apologize for running around here. But I don't want to contaminate theirs with milk and that other bacteria. This one's heavy. So, now I've never done almond milk, so I have no idea how this is going to come out. And uh, they're about bad April. Yeah. Okay. So that's done. So we're going to cap these up. There's some good sari that um, you can put in there. Okay, now we're going to put these in the machine and turn it on. All right, and now we're going to add some water to this. My yogurt maker requires uh, it heats up the water. And this is, um, if you're curious, is an Ultimate um, brand, Ultimate yogurt maker. And you want to fill it up above, a little bit above the, um, the yogurt one, so that way it's uniform and it all cooks. If you don't, um, what you'll find out is that the portion that you haven't gotten with water will um, still be heavy cream. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna hit the temperature. And I'm gonna do this for 99 degrees because nearly all of them, except for a few at the very bottom, were, um, had an optimum time of uh, 99 cook, 99 degrees. Do this for, 36 hours and we're on the uh, unbeaten path on this one nobody, nobody does this with this yogurt so we'll see how this goes in 36 hours so I'll see you back here in just a minute all right so we got four hours left um, half of our yogurt turned out well the milk uh, the milk portion Looks pretty good. That looks nice. That's what it should look like. Now, the almond milk looks gross. You know what I mean? That looks nasty. Very nasty. So I think that needs to go. That's inedible. So we're going to throw that out. But, you know, it wasn't a total waste. We got half of it. So that worked. All right, this yogurt's done. Oh. And there's only one. Where's the other one? It didn't come out right. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's been in the fridge for a little bit. And let's taste it and see how it is. Came out pretty good. Um, not a lot of whey. It's actually came out probably better than any yogurt I've ever done from scratch. Looks pretty good. Nice consistency. Hmm. Tastes really good. So it has a little bit of a sharp taste, not so much. Um, it's very good. Very good yogurt. Um, so once again, made it from this. Therapeutic complete. This is uh, what my son is taking. And of course we cooked it for 36 hours. Uh, I'm trying to focus in there, sorry. And um, there we go. And use the recommended settings for that, but and also have one capsule of this. 
So if you want to make super yogurt, go for it. Um, this is the milk. Now, there was an almond milk. That one came out really bad. So don't do what I did there. You'll just have to throw it out. It just turned into total water. It was gross. So there we go. Thanks a lot. Y'all take care.